This is our portable ECG with wireless monitoring. This is our prototype box. We left it open so you can see the inside of it. This is the original cover of it, which would cover it up. goes on top like this. This is our microcontroller, our Bluetooth module, and an Android device. These are the three leads coming from our ECG, and I will show you where the placement of the leads go. The white lead goes on the right side above the right chest. As you can see, I have the electrodes on already. The black lead goes on the left side above the left chest. And the green lead goes on the right side above the right hip. And now we want to verify the ECG signal, so we will connect it to our oscilloscope that we have here. Currently, the oscilloscope is not connected, no signal. Now we're going to connect this black wire from the oscilloscope to our ground on the ECG. And the red wire goes to our output of the ECG. And there's our signal. This is the frequency right here. If you can zoom in, it's about 1.6 hertz. 1 hertz is 60 beats per minute. Right now, if I disconnect the oscilloscope, there should be no signal. So now we want to view the signal on the app for our Android that we developed. The signal is coming from our ECG. It's converted from analog to digital using the microcontroller. And this Bluetooth module will be sending that data to our Android device. And I will hand this Android device off to Josh and he will explain to you how the application works. All right, well, as you can see, the Bluetooth module is blinking red, and that means it's not yet connected. So in order to pair it, we access the ECG monitor app that we've developed. Go to Bluetooth. It'll search nearby Bluetooth devices. ECG is our device, so we will connect, and it should turn green. And now that we're connected, we could view the ECG signal. And now we can compare signals with the oscilloscope and the Android app. They are very similar.